Have you ever been in love? It's horrible, isn't it? it? Makes you so vulnerable. It opens your chest and it opens up your heart. And it means that someone can get inside you and mess you up. You build up all these defenses, you build up a whole suit of armor so that nothing can hurt you. And then one stupid person, no different from any other stupid person, wanders into your stupid life and you give them a piece of you. They didn't ask for it. <laughs> they did something dumb one day like kiss you or smile at you and then your life isn't your own anymore. Love, it takes hostages, it gets inside you. is a very meaningful place to the couple. It is where they first met, first moved in together, got engaged, and now they felt it was the perfect location to signify this important step in their relationship. Sam, when you first met Mark, I only really listened with one ear, because uh, after all, you're only 19. As time went on, I knew he was the guy for you. You started taking his feelings into consideration, <laughs> putting us time aside for him. You were madly in love. And having watched the two of you over the past 10 years, there has never been a doubt in my mind that you two were made for each other. is a straight up good guy. He treats Sam like the queen that she is. He's smart, driven, and challenges her mutual stubbornness. Sam 1000% found her lobster. Sam and Mark, oh, I'm so happy this day has finally arrived. You're such an amazing couple. The love you have for each other is so sweet, and it makes my heart smile every time I think of the two of you together. This year has been pretty crazy for the two of you. In addition to planning a crazy wedding during this insane time, you both received job promotions and bought a new beautiful house. The ambition and determination that the two of you have is both mind blowing and I could not be prouder. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish, weak things that you can't help dimly seeing there. And for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. start of our friendship, we were glued at the hip. Sam instantly felt like my sister. Sam is extremely compassionate, generous, and loyal. There is nothing to this day that I cannot say to her. She is my own personal journal whom I can share everything with. It's been my honor to have a front row seat watching your love grow and mature over these years, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for the two of you. I feel blessed to have been able to watch what an amazing woman you've become, how you navigate life, how you treat others and your love for Mark. And while I wasn't there with you for the first part of your life, I look forward to being there for you for the rest of mine. Sam, you have touched the hearts of every person in this room in your own special way. You are beautiful, kind, loving, caring, determined, independent young woman. You're also a little stubborn but not completely your fault, you are Italian. It's easy to see the love and respect that you have for Sam and your willingness to give up all of your closet space is admirable. You're a good man. And ever since I could remember your name, I've known Sam is in great hands with you, that you will be there for, cherish and protect her, which is more than I can say for that U-Haul truck you recently rented. <laughs> Do 
do you mark? Take Sam to be your wife and one true love, promising to share in all life offers and suffers, to be there for her in times of need, to console her in times of pain, and to support her in all endeavors, big and small. I do. Sam, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will be there to forever laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures and life together. Do you, Sam, take Mark to be your husband and one true love, promising to share in all that life offers and suffers, to be there for him in times of need, to console him in times of pain, and to support him in all endeavors, big and small. I do. It gives me absolute great pleasure, and by the power vested in me by the state of Rhode Island, I pronounce you husband and wife. Mark, you may kiss your bride. Look forward to celebrating the two of you this evening and can't wait for the next chapter in your lives. Sam, Mark, we love you both so much and wish you a lifetime of love, health, and happiness. This is the one where Sam and Matt get married. Salute. All that I can do is sleep.